Hi guys! Okay, so today I'm going to do another Nutribullet video for you and we are going to make Chipotle sun-dried tomato hummus. And I told you guys before that I love to make my own hummus because I like to play with flavors and kind of make it how I want it. And also it makes me eat more raw vegetables. So let's get into it. Let me show you what you need for it. Of course you need a can of ch chickpeas, Chipotle and adobe sauce, and this, I got out the Hispanic food aisle. It's just a little can. It's red and it says Chipotle and adobe sauce. And you don't really need a lot of it, so that's why I have it stored. Sun-dried tomatoes. This is optional. You don't have to use tahini, but you can get it from the health food store. But I got it from the commissary, which is the military grocery store. Oil of your choice. You can use olive oil. Garlic salt salt and lemon juice all right so first of all you want to put your chickpeas in your Nutribullet and I save the water off of it because I might use it because the more liquid you use in it the creamier it gets it's not so thick I do like it thick but I made it creamy last time I made hummus and I like it a lot better creamy so we're gonna take just one of these because I'm telling you, they are very potent. And then we're going to take a few of the sun-dried tomatoes. This might actually come out looking kind of red looking. I love sun-dried tomatoes. Okay. And sometimes I even pour a little bit of the oil off of it in there. Gives it more flavor. I'm going to use probably about two teaspoons of tahini. It's really thick. And then one more. then put some of the garlic in here sea salt I'm going to do some of the oil and then some of the lemon juice I'm going to go ahead and pour some of the water off the chickpeas in here and that should do it. All right, let's blend it up. All right, I'm gonna add some more water, some more of it to make it blend a little bit easier. It's already really chunky and looks really good already, but I want it to be creamier. So I'm gonna pour, I pretty much poured that whole can in there. I just didn't want it to be too watery, so that's why I kinda did it, put a little bit in at a time. show you guys what it looks like mm, smells so good see it's a lot more creamy and trust me it's not watery it's still kind of thick but it's creamy and then I have some carrots I like carrots and cherry tomatoes um, bell peppers red peppers broccoli celery I like to eat those type of things with mine delicious i hope you guys try it let me know how you like it and if you have your own hummus recipes please put them in the comment section for me to try see you next time bye